Canada's big banks have been criticized for high fees, low interest rates, and lackluster customer service. But despite these shortcomings, many Canadians stick with their bank due to mere familiarity and the fear that switching could be a big hassle. Breakups are always painful, but it's smart to periodically reevaluate your relationship with your financial institution. Here are the five telltale signs that it's time to break up with your bank. Depending on what kind of bank account you have, you can be charged fees for a number of basic transactions. You have to accept the good with the bad in any relationship. But if you start feeling like your bank is all take and no give, it may be time to look for other account options that won't ding you right and left. Not only do many banks charge fees for transactions, some checking accounts have a monthly account fee as well. They may forego the charge if you keep a minimum balance, but these minimums can be quite high and your money could serve you better if you hold it in a savings account instead. Speaking of savings, today it's rare for traditional banks to offer decent savings interest rates, even for their so-called high interest accounts. Some banks might woo you with a high promotional rate, but after a few months, the honeymoon ends abruptly and the rate returns to normal. Don't you deserve a steady, reliable savings account that's in it for the long term? We all care about the bottom line, but some say the most important aspect of any relationship is communication. Fed up with endless hours on the phone, long lineups at branches, and a labyrinthine website? If your bank isn't making customer care a priority, don't be afraid to start shopping around. And finally, sometimes the feeling just fades and you're no longer excited to see your bank anymore. If you can't remember the last time you actually went to a physical branch, you may be better off calling it quits with your traditional brick and mortar bank and converting to a branch-free virtual bank instead. You should never settle in love, and you should never settle in money. There's a growing number of alternative banks and credit unions that have low or no fees, offer high interest rates, and who would make you and your money feel truly appreciated. You can read more great banking tips at greedyrates.ca. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.